Hi, I'm Viviana Leija Sisak, and this is a special edition of Nonprofit Spotlight. With me is Doug Crawford, member of the Board of Directors of uh, Navy League of United States Santa Barbara Council. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, and thank you for having me on your show. I would like to start by asking you about the mission and goals of the Santa Barbara Navy League. Well, the League has been formed uh, to be able to support the men and women that serve in our armed forces, as well as their families when they're deployed. It's also to educate the nation and our nation's leaders regarding the needs of the, our maritime nation. And third, and just as important as the first two, to develop and support youth programs so that our young people can learn what it means to be of service and to operate within an organization that operates very much like our armed forces. When was it founded? It was founded in 1902 by President Teddy Roosevelt when he realized that our country, in order to be a national power and to be able to protect our trade, had to have an organization made up of civilians that would support his desires to spend the money that needed to be spent to raise a navy. Now, let's talk about this historical event happening April 18th. I know the newest ship of the U.S. Navy is coming to yep. the Central Coast. Can you tell us more about it? Absolutely. The USS James Bond Stockdale, uh, whose motto is Return with Honor, is going to be commissioned on April the 18th at Naval Base Ventura County, just 40 miles south of Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. And we were honored to have the Secretary of the Navy call our President of our Navy League and ask if we would host the commissioning and adopt the ship as it is brought to life on Naval Base Ventura County on the 18th. The exciting part of this is that it has a number of events that we're going to be having around it, including a baseball game, softball game here across from the zoo at the park on the evening of the 17th, and we're going to have bands and bagpipes and hot dogs and cheerleaders, and, and the and Santa, we, Santa Barbara Fire Department has challenged the crew of the USS Stockdale to come here and play a goodwill softball game under the lights in our fair city of Santa Barbara. Great. Now, uh, I know the name is honoring Admiral James Bond Stockdale. Could you tell me more about his life? Yes, Admiral Stockdale was a pilot. During the Vietnam War, he flew off the Oriskany and was shot down over North Vietnam. He spent seven years as a prisoner of war during very tumultuous years in our country, having to do with, uh, of course, the, the movement against the war, as well as a number of lives, 56,000 lives were lost during that war. And his being captured was very important to the North Vietnamese because he was the highest ranking American military officer to have ever been taken prisoner. Mm -hmm. He was put in solitary confinement for over four years. And during that time, he was let out once and came out singing God Bless America to the other 1,500 POWs that were there. The result of which he was thrown back into solitary confinement for another couple of years. He was uh, represented here in the United States by a wonderful woman, Sybil Stockdale, who will be attending along with her four sons who were young boys at the time this happened. They're going to be attending the commissioning, which is going to take place uh, at Naval Base Ventura County from 11 o'clock until 12.30 on Saturday the 18th of April. But what Sybil Stockdale did at that time, rather than giving up hope, she believed her husband was alive and she fought diligently to get information from our government and from the North Vietnamese regarding the capture of POWs and missing in actions. And she even uh, went to the Paris peace talks to meet with the North Vietnamese against the wishes of our government. Her having done that started the POW and the MIA program that we know of today. So she's going to be there and she is the sponsor of the ship. And it's such a tremendous honor. We expect uh, Admiral Stockdale's um, wonderful legacy uh, will be honored by his family's presence as well mm -hmm. as all of the community that are going to be invited to this event on the Central Coast. Admiral Stockdale was awarded the Medal of Honor after he was released from captivity mm -hmm. for the actions and the things that he did while he was in, in captivity to keep up the morale and the welfare of the men that were in, uh, in the Hanoi Hilton. After he won the Medal of Honor, I should say received the Medal of Honor, he was asked to be the vice presidential running mate of H. Ross Perot in 1992, which he accepted. And H. Ross Perot is coming to this event to be the keynote speaker as the ship is brought to life and brought into the United States Navy at this commissioning event. It's not only historical, it's uh, very unique that uh, we would be able to 
host this in the Central Coast at Naval Base Ventura County and make this event available uh, to the residents here and to the members of the Navy League and to the businesses that wish to help uh, support the expense and the cost that come along with an event like this. Which are the needs of a uh, crew? Well, when a ship is commissioned, it's commissioned as a gray hull. Basically, it doesn't have much on it. None of the creature comforts, if you would, of people that are going to be deployed. And there's approximately 380 of the ship's company aboard a ship like this. And so what we've been asked for are items that will help them continue their education while they're on board. Mm -hmm. One thing is a simulator. Another is books for their library. Others have to do with television and video systems so that they can read books to their children and be recorded on DVD so they can send those back while they're out on deployment. But they have many needs. Uh, when they are on deployment, they have the award winner, Sailor of the Quarter, and so we provide uh, meals or plaques for them for that. And if their families have special needs, that's where the Navy League is sort of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, okay. if you will, for the service members' families. How can people get involved? People can get involved a number of ways. Number one, uh, we need volunteers in order to make this event, or I should say these four events. We have the, the softball game, we have mm -hmm. a commanding officer's reception also Friday night. We have a Saturday morning platform breakfast before the event, then the event itself, and then after the event, one of the things that I'm proudest of that we're able to do and that we're working diligently to make happen is we're airlifting in over 100 prisoner of war POWs that served under Admiral Stockdale at the Hanoi Hilton. Incredible. We're also, also bringing in medal, living Medal of Honor re recipients mm -hmm. and there'll be a reception for those people. So the best way to help is to join the Navy League uh, which you can do by calling us at area code 805-879-1561 and our website address is www.sbnl.org or ussstockdale.org and our address is at the Santa Barbara Business Center at 402 East Gutierrez Street in Santa Barbara. Now I know people need an invitation and they can get all that information from your website, right? That's correct. If you're interested in being invited or if you want more information on it, going to either of those websites would be our first preference and then calling in if you have other questions would be helpful. Thanks for being in our show and remember this is a historical event. And we look forward to hearing from you and seeing you and having you share in a moment of America's greatest histories. Thank you. Nonprofit Spotlight was brought to you in part by a grant provided by the Orfala Foundations.